Hey, Mr. Jack, I'm going to swear you in again. Could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm the testimony about to give will be the truth? So if the records show you only called her one time, those would be the accurate. Those would be the accurate number. Absolutely, yes. Explain to me why you only try to call your girlfriend who was missing one time in the days following her disappearance. I don't know. I've tried to get other people to look for her as well. She's the love of your life, right? Yes. And you're not blowing up her phone? I don't know if I did or not, but I don't know why I would only call her one time. Overruled witness may answer if he knows. Yes, she definitely did. You don't recall telling Molly that you had a temper? No. You don't recall saying that's what makes you dangerous? No. But the record says that. Do you deny the accuracy of the record? No. Now, it's your testimony, Mr. Jack, that you had nothing to do with Molly, Molly Tibbetts' abduction. Is that what I am to understand? Yes. You had nothing to do with Molly Tibbetts' death, right? Correct. You loved her too much, is that right? That and I wouldn't harm her or any innocent person, but yes. Mr. Jack, prior to Thursday afternoon, did you leave and go back to Brooklyn, Iowa? No. Did, were you ever in the presence of Molly Tibbetts after mo early Monday morning, uh, July 16th of 2018? No. Members of the jury, that completes our uh, work for the day. Uh, we will be in recess until tomorrow morning at 8.30.